Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates. 2021, members of all the Progressive Congress APC in Anambra State mobilized themselves in unprecedented numbers to participate in direct primary elections to choose a candidate to represent the party in Anambra State governorship elections scheduled for the 6th of November 2021. In the 326 electoral wards of Anambra State, party faithfuls, members of the press, officials from INEC, and officers of the security agencies waited from morning till evening for election materials to arrive for accreditation to begin for the elections to hold. In a few locations in the state, election materials arrived late in the evening after both voters and officials had dispersed and long past the time when it was possible to conduct even a semblance of an election. In the rest of the state, neither materials nor personnel arrived. As a result, elections did not hold in any voting center in Anambra State on Saturday, 26 June 2021. Despite this evident reality, the primary election committee appointed by the leadership of the party and chaired by the governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwa Biodun, went ahead to produce and announce purported results based on nothing other than their fertile imagination and motivated by their private interests and arrangements. Perhaps it is not the motivation of those private interests that caused them to produce results so dubious that they have made themselves and their great party the subject of derision across the state and in the country. In the 2017 elections for governor of Anambra State, a total of 448,771 people voted in Anambra State in an election that was keenly contested by 37 political parties and their candidates. Yet, Prince Dakwa Biodu and his team want to convince Nigerians and the world that nearly 350,000 votes were cast on Saturday in the midnight of the night, in the middle of the night, across 326 voting centers in 21 local government areas of Anambra State. As we speak, no major television station in the country has one recorded video clip of elections taking place anywhere in Anambra State. Yet, there are thousands of videos showing voters across the states complaining bitterly about the fact that neither the materials nor the personnel for elections was provided in their localities. The arrogant incompetence of, 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 this, of the farce orchestrated by President Abiodu, his team and the people they answer to insults every man and woman in Anambra State. The committee has abused this authority and participated in the corruption of the democratic ideas of the progressive movement. They have sought to rubbish the hard work and sacrifice that has gone into building the All Progressives Congress in Anambra State. Their actions are an insult to good conscience, burden on the criminal, and they reject these results in their entirety and without the slightest reservation. I've been a member of the All Progressives Congress since its inception. Before that time, I was a member of one of the predecessor political parties, the All Nigeria People's Party. For 22 years, I have served the party in different capacities always creditably, and always with the highest dedication and loyalty. And I expect us to be better than those against whom we contend. For me, this is a matter of conscience and principle, and as such, there can be no compromise. Therefore, I'll do everything within my abilities and the law to ensure that the traversity orchestrated by President Abiodun and his team will not stand. I will appoint a team and will have gathered enough evidence, including videos, pictures, and sworn statements by party election officials appalled by this fraud that Dr. Biodo and his people have sought to perpetrate against the people of Anambra State. I work within the appeals process of the party to present my case and I have the full expectation that the right thing will be done. I call on the national leadership of the All Progressive Congress and to others in our party who still believe in the promise of democracy and good government, who are committed to protecting respect for electoral processes and ensuring the rule of law to act now and ensure primary elections are properly conducted in Anambra State and that members of the party can choose a candidate with character and integrity to lead the party to the government house in Oka in November 6, 2021. Thank you very much for listening to me. My name is Chief Dr. George N. Morello, Governorship Experiment, All Progressive Congress, Anambra State. And I'm open to questions. Please. about it. Elections did not hold. What we're asking for is very simple. 
come and conduct primaries. Whoever emerges in a free fair, fair primary will all support the person. It is not about me now, it's about Anambra State. It's about good conscience. It's about proper democratic principles. It's about good conscience. It's about pro politics. So what we are saying is give us free, fair, credible primaries. Let there be an election and let somebody emerge. Whoever emerges is the will of God and will accept it. But if anybody thinks that he can sit back in his house and write results and come and declare it, we'll resist it, whatever it will take. John Chooks. The point is very clear. As the NWC today accepted what happened, because nothing happened. You can't build not something or nothing. Nothing happened. There was no election in the 326 wards in Anambra State. Everybody has spoken about it. Local government chairman has spoken about it. World chairman has spoken about it. The aspirants have spoken about it. It is clear that no elections took place in Anambra State. So it's not a matter of whether something took place. So this, in this instance, nothing took place at all. And if you take my trajectory, take my history, I have never been on the path of injustice. I will say as it is, if it pleases you, so be it. If it doesn't please, please you, sorry, so be it. I will stand on the path of justice. And my position is that justice has to be done. And until justice is served, I'm sorry. Yes. The 11 of us have spoken in Oka in a press conference, and it was recorded and carried in all the media. But today I'm speaking for myself, and I have the status to speak for myself because I'm, I'm a key player in the process, being an aspirant, if nothing else. So I have a right to express how I feel. That is not to say that other aspirants don't have a, are not entitled to their opinions. And if we all, 11 of us, could speak together that goes to show that we, our, what we are saying is a position of all of us. Yes, I may have spoken as the spokesperson of the group, but the point is that I spoke based on the directive of the entire membership of the, of the group, those of us who aspired to the position of governor. But what I'm doing today, one, is to re-emphasize the fact, because, mm -hmm. I, because I feel very hot that um, people who are holding very high responsible offices that a, a lot is expected from them will come out in day, broad daylight to tell absolute lies. Somebody at that level will come out to say that elections held and results were obtained and announce it and expect people to accept it when in actual fact he knows in clear conscience that no elections took place. Cool. In advance, the truth about that you cross a bridge when you get to the bridge. The point is that we are going to follow all the laid down processes to express your anger, which has to do with petitioning the party and then allowing the party to take the decision. I believe that the party will do the right thing, and I still believe so until I'm proven otherwise. Sir, given the fact that you have just four days to the deadline given by INEC, and the fact that during the submission of uh, some results at the Scottish meeting, okay, piece of local government uh, going up with that. Are you not surprised that a national party like APC, a party in the federal government, conducted its primaries and there's no video clips of voting taking place on any national network? Meanwhile, parties, other parties, who even when they had clear factions, all the factions were being reported on, on media, on the, on the electronic and print media. Are you not embarrassed about it? So if anybody can sit in his bedroom and write anything. I am, yes, sir. Uh, I want I'm going to follow the laid down procedure. I have been in party management for the past 30 years. And it's verifiable at the highest level of party administration. So, and I'm going to follow the steps as provided by, by the party constitution. I don't accept what happened. I've protested formally to the party. I'm waiting for the party's response.
But what I've done now is to bring to the issue to the public domain because I don't want lies to be in the public domain. The truth must be said. Because I heard, I saw on TV, somebody reporting that elections were held in, Abra in peaceful environment. It was free, fair, and credible. And for me, it's arrant nonsense. Because it is not true. And I can't sit back here and somebody will lie over my head. I'm a key player in the process. For Christ's sake, I'm not a joiner in APC. I'm not a joiner. I'm a founder. And this party was founded on principles. And there must be reward for loyalty. And you can't take me for granted and expect that I'll sit back and watch. You are preempting my action. <laughs> you are preempting me. I told you that I'm going to follow due process. And if due process begins by identifying a flaw and then protesting to the party of what your observations are, I'm sure also other aspirants are doing the same thing. So you must also give the party the opportunity, the party leadership the opportunity, because you will not be fair to the party leadership if you go beyond what should be done at any particular time. So you must give the party the opportunity. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. You are asking for a primary. Primary has not been held at all. So we are calling for primary. But your party gave notice to ILEC that your primary will hold on the 26th. Would, do you think INEC would listen to it, uh, any, any idea of an amount of money? That is actually a problem for the party to solve, not me. If you say you're going to do something and you don't do it, you have to do it. What you're asking is not too much. It's not in my place to determine for the party how they want to do it. But what they're saying is that primaries should be held. Finish. And when primaries are held, we participate. So you allow the people the opportunity to determine who they want their leaders to be. The party members have a right to determine who, want, who, they, who they want to lead them. Now that's exactly what you're asking for. Nothing more than that. Okay. Gentlemen, uh, I did inform Joseph Nixon, my friend, that um, we have a media regime. These stories must live and they must receive traction. 